New rumors suggest that we could be getting PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X reveals sooner rather than later. If so, what could this all mean? Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another episode of The Medicine Hey, yo, it feels so good to be back, y'all. Rough week, the prior week, really couldn't put out any content. But what kept me going was the, the calls and the reach outs by the people, you know what I'm saying? Asking where your boy is, how your boy's doing, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that means a lot to me, you know, and, and a lot of you guys I can call friends. I appreciate all that. And it keeps me motivated to make sure to say, hey, Ain't no slack in the following week, man. You got to get on your game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So hopefully we got no more out of the blue, out of the left field stuff happening. And if not, we're going to still continue to be on the grind. With that said, before we get into this one, do me a huge favor, y'all. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping those doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, so... Uh, I want to put something up on the screen right here. All right, there we go. It's been a long time since I've, since I've worked the board. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, this is coming from PSU.com. And the article reads, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X reveal shifted due to E3 cancellation. Sony has may reveal planned. All right, and the article reads as such. The cancellation of E3 2020 has resulted in planned reveals for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X disrupted, with some taking place earlier than planned and others having been pushed back. PS5 and Xbox Series X reveals shifted up. Daniel Lamott of Nico Partners said that Sony and Microsoft have shifted many of their plans outside of E3's June 9th through 11th date. However, it seems like the proper PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X reveals will be happening sooner rather than later. Some are now much earlier, others much later. The first proper next-gen console game showcases much earlier too. This is the one time I will actually add a caveat for the last sentence in case as we are living through the unprecedented situation and this one-time external factor such as COVID could actually change plans right at the last minute, but we'll see. In addition, VGC has heard that Sony was planning to host a significant PlayStation 5 reveal event in May, but it remains to be seen if that will still go ahead due to the disruption by the COVID-19 pandemic. We've already heard that some of Sony's PlayStation 5 plans have been affected by the, um, by COVID-19 with this reveal of the DualSense being hurried. Elsewhere, Microsoft reportedly has made reveals planned for the Xbox Series X, as well as a digital showcase in place of E3. Still, from the sounds of things, we could be getting our first look at the PlayStation 5 as early as next month, providing Sony's plans are not disrupted further. All right, people. So, there's been a lot of murmur after the surprise and, you know, semi-shocking reveal of the Xbox Series X at the Game Awards in 2019. And to me, it was very effective. You know what I'm saying? Now, it it hasn't become static because Microsoft pounded the pavement with everything that they've needed to so far. It's become systemic and its results have become a little bit more concrete than prior Xbox announcements because Sony pretty much muffled any simulation or any resemblance to a semi-reveal when they did that whole GDC style tech <laughs> babble for Mark Cerny. You know, that, that didn't go over well and it only helped to bolster the Xbox Series X. But the reason why I say that the Xbox Series X and I can hear I can I can hear the voices in the background now. Here he goes again from my Xbox community. But the reason why the Xbox Series X, I say, hasn't done everything they need to just yet, because it, it's going to go beyond the power. It's going to go beyond the Bible watts and the gigahertz. I get it. This is a new console generation. At the beginning of it, you get more in depth with multiplats more than everything. But it seems like that the Xbox one x reveal was so soon it doesn't seem like it was that long ago that it's still heavy in the minds as it relates to mindshare so to solidify 
the power that the Xbox Series X is going to have, they need to come with the games. And if you're not going to have a E3 style presentation because of the limitations of COVID, then start showing the game sooner rather than later. And this goes for both camps. I feel this is what I feel both camps should do because of their current situation. Xbox has to win mindshare. They gotta win it big. And they're only gonna do it with the games that they showcase. If I'm Xbox, I'm showing maybe half of the games that I have that I was going to show at E3. I got half of them right now. And then maybe in May or June or whatever, show the rest. You know what I'm saying? Maybe save some of the biggest hitters for a later time, right? Because your goal is the games. Now, PlayStation 5, on the other hand, they have games already in their favor, but people are curious of this price. And I get it that there's some developers out there and some in the media that are saying, y'all shouldn't pay close attention to the T-flops uh, because the PlayStation 5 is gonna be a powerful machine. And I, I, I agree with that sentiment to a degree that regardless if the PlayStation 5 is 9.2 or 10.3 flop, I don't know what the terminology is, but regardless of it, even with a baseline of 9.2 teraflops, Sony is going to do wonders with the development talent that they have. But the thing with Sony is people are eyeballing that price. They do care about that price. It is gonna be a tough sell to be exactly the same price as the Series X, particularly more expensive, unless you got a slew of games too. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, Sony, in my mind, is you're gonna to wanna to show a third of your games you know what I'm saying? Because people already got trust in you as far as game output is concerned. Maybe show a third of those games right now and then wait till after Xbox goes and reveals their price, then show the rest of the games and reveal your price. And I say, and I think that, and, I, and it just talks about the hardware being expensive, but I think just the way that everything laid out. I, if I'm Sony, I'm looking at being at least, at least $50 less. Regardless of the SSD power and how it changed game, perception is everything. And I, I, I you know, the, the precedent was set with this, the, everybody comparing T-flops, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has fell into that trap. So it's a tangible number that gamers recognize. And the fact that you're coming in at less it's, it may be hard at first to sell it exactly at the same price. So what I would imagine that you wanna do is think about coming in at least $50 less, show a third of your games, show the rest later to help solidify it. And if you, if you have no choice but to come in, you know, um, around the same price, then that's why I say show, just a third of your games now, another two thirds later to help solidify people's minds. Okay, it's gonna be well worth it because even though the T-flop number ain't there, we're getting we're getting these stellar games, you know what I'm saying? So this is, even though this is a rumor, it's big speculation, can mean a lot of big things if any of this is true. So it's very interesting to see. As you know, I'm not the Bibbawatt, gigahertz concern person. I care about the games and the gaming footprint that these consoles want to put in the industry. So let's see what they do, baby. And as far as that's all concerned, that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the broadband bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with all that said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. It's good to be back, baby. Peace.